As we think of persons living in China or in Africa or in Europe or North and South America or the islands of the sea, the six billion some people on earth today, there are three ultimate questions, three great questions that each one of the people on earth asks, that each one of us here ask three ultimate questions. It's the German theologian Paul Tillich. He died some time ago. In the last century, he was a very influential theologian. And Paul Tillich used to say that there are three ultimate questions. In fact, he said only three ultimate questions. What do you think they might be? Question number one, why am I here? Or what is the meaning of life? You can't ask any bigger question. Why am I here? Just recently, I was in the United States in a dormitory room at the American University and met with four young men who were rooming together in that university apartment a Jew, a Christian, two Muslims. And one of the Muslims said, I do not know the answer to the question why I am here. And so I am an agnostic. I just don't know. I told him, I said, I pled with him, please. I beg you, I implore you, do not go through life not knowing the answer to that question. You only live life one time. And to walk through life and not know why you're here is the worst possible calamity I could imagine. Take it seriously. Find the answer to that question. What he said, it's impossible to know the answer to the question. I said, no, it's not impossible. The answer is very simple. Go to the architect who put it all together and ask him the answer to that question. Go to the one who placed you here and ask him. <laughs> you don't need to go through life not knowing. He's eager to tell you, listen. So we had, as you could imagine, a very rambunctious discussion in that dormitory room with these four young men who are studying philosophy and, and uh, sociology and economics and so forth at the American University in the USA. So that's the first question, the meaning of life. The second question, the meaning of death. What's the meaning of death? My, my wife and I are thinking a lot about that. We're, we're good health. We thank God for that. But we're now, you know, turning 77. And uh, so we've, <laughs> we've actually took a retreat here not so long ago. And we talked about the songs and the sermon text and so forth that we want to be preached when we die. Uh, and go on to, to God's next grand plan for us, you know. And uh, what's the meaning of death? Well, if we didn't know what the meaning of death is, do you think we would be sitting down planning for the songs and the scripture sermon and all of that? No, you know. But, but uh, you know, we are just thrilled about what the meaning of death is all about. Why, you know? <laughs> well, because someone has told us what the meaning of death is. But all religions struggle with that question. What is the meaning of death? They try to provide answers to that question. That's an ultimate question. Very important. What happens when I die? What is my destiny when I die? Okay? 
Question number three. What could it be? According, according to Paul Tillich, what might it be? Question three. How can I deal with my failures? That all of us know that we have fallen short. We do not live up to what we know we really should be as fully as what we would like to. Another way of saying this question is, what, how can I find forgiveness? How can I deal with falling short? How can I compensate for the wrongs that I do? Those sorts of questions, questions having to do with forgiveness. That's the third ultimate question. Now, all religions and ideologies in various ways provide answers to those three questions in all cultures, all societies, everywhere you go. Those three questions are there, and the religions seek to provide an answer to those questions. Have you benefited from our teaching ministry? Have you found TVS videos helpful and relevant? Please consider supporting us with your prayers and financial gifts. For more information, visit tvsseminary.com.